Hey guys, I've just been noticing there's a lot of questions within the SEO affiliate marketing space about how to find good keywords. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video here to show you guys how I do my keyword research. And I do it with two tools called Longtail Pro and uh, Moz Pro. So without further ado, let's just get into the training, okay? Um, so I, just, I went ahead to save us some time to, I went and looked through some products and I found a niche that I thought was, uh, <clears throat> was quite intriguing to me. It's called parenting and it'll be potty training. Gravity is 72. So I know this product sells and there's a rebill on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one just for test purposes. So I open up Longtail Pro, add seed keywords here be potty training, potty training for new moms. And then I'm just going to press generate keywords and fetch data. So I'm just going to pause the video here just to save some time and I'll check back with you guys when the video or when um, key the keyword research has uh, started. All right, so one moment. Okay, so we fetched all the keywords and now this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. What I do here is I just um, I just gain all these keywords here, and I just pick ten of them. So how to pop? And I pull it up in a note. So I'm just gonna when to start body training. Paste. How to body train. Body training tips. Potty train a boy. <clears throat> How to potty train a girl. And I got five. I'm gonna keep going down the list here. <clears throat> potty training three days. Three day potty training. Start potty training. Mm. Yeah, so essentially, here, guys, I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of more keywords so I can start um, start sifting out through a lot more. <clears throat> Or so I can start generating more, sorry. So let's see. Best way to potty train boy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this should be good enough. I'm just gonna grab more. Just one more. I think I already grabbed that keyword. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and start a new one. Okay, so test two. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we copy and paste the keywords that we just grabbed. Oh shit, okay, I guess it's not working for me. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this video real quick so I can just input all of these keywords here. All right, so one moment. All right guys, so I have all the keywords already in here. So what I do here now is I set the local search volume, the minimum to 900. And I also set the number of words to four. <clears throat> and in this way it shows um, only long tail keywords and long tail keyword keywords with search volume. Okay, so let's generate these. <clears throat> Actually, it's gonna take a little bit too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video again. All right, hey guys, so now all the keywords are generated. I'm just gonna sort by searches. Oopsie, sorry. <clears throat> and then right now, this is where um, the good stuff happens. So now these are all the keywords that generate. It's about 133 out of 8,010 that match our criteria. So I'm just gonna start a new note here. Just gonna pull this one up. Um, 
So I'm gonna just take the skewer one and start potty training. There's actually a lot of duplicates for some reason. Start potty training. Girl. Tips for boys. <clears throat> boys age two. Okay, so it's actually there wasn't actually a lot of keywords in this one, but I bet if you kept looking um, when I was sifting, I bet you could find a whole lot more to have a seed keyword. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these keywords and then stuff them in to the keyword difficulty um, a tool right here by Moz, and then it's gonna just do its magic here. So there's five of them. Uh, to be honest, I highly doubt they'll, these keywords will be low competition, but let's just see. Okay, they're all a bit over 50. Most are part. Yeah, they're all a bit over 50. <clears throat> we just look at one of these keywords in more depth. Shows the, the first 10 spots that are ranking here. So link to the domains, uh, you know, the only one that's getting a whole lot of traction here is, is, um, this baby center one. Um, there's some high authoritative web pages here, parents.com, parenting.com, WebMD is here too. Yeah. So this is pretty authoritative. So also the, that keyword is not something I wouldn't go for personally. Oh shit. <clears throat> Keywords disappeared. Okay, there they are. Trying to test boys. See, now this is a keyword I would go after. Um, there's page authority is none. Domain authority, this is YouTube, YouTube. Uh, there's not a lot of um, dom domains linking to um, the page. So that's also something nice. And also, this right here, this is a niche site. Project Potty Training. This is a niche site, so there's only eight domains linking to this. I'm just gonna even take a peek at it. Yeah, so this is definitely an affiliate blog right here. Um, yeah, so this keyword is actually something I would go after. It's potty training tips for boys. So, um, yeah, so actually we just went ahead and found a good keyword with 1900 searches for uh, for this product that, you know, someone could promote, even you who are, who's watching right now could promote this video. So that is exactly how I find my keywords. And I know we can go more in depth with this, but this video will stretch over to like an hour if I really wanted to find a low competition keyword. But this is essentially what I do and essentially how I find my keywords to, to get more traffic to my web pages. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys can get some nice value out of this video. And anyways guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.